favorite bars, but it's just that kind of offering that's at the center of a new lawsuit tied to a December crash that killed four people. The wife of one man who died now going after the bar she claims overserved the suspected DUI driver she says is responsible for killing her husband. I'm live now with Michelle Trigger of Trigger Law, here to help explain the claims being made in this action that's been filed against the House of Oliver in Roseville and the estate of the suspected DUI driver. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. First, I think most people have kind of a vague notion that bars, bartenders bear some kind of responsibility for not over-serving a patron. But what does the law cover exactly, and is the responsibility it lays out criminal or civil? Uh, that's correct. There are two different types of liabilities that these types of laws can cover. Uh, they're commonly referred to as DRAM laws or DRAM shop laws. They vary from state to state, but in California, we generally only hold bartenders or establishments criminally liable. In other words, they could be convicted of a misdemeanor as opposed to civilly liable, meaning they could be sued for money. So since the state code that provides for criminal liability prohibits civil liability, is this suit some kind of, I don't know, end run around that? And will that kind of end run work in your opinion? So it's interesting because ultimately the business and professions code that this type of over-serving generally covers is referenced in the complaint of the lawsuit. That's the same code section that says civil liability is not going to be covered uh, when there's over-serving only criminal. With that being said, lawyers always have a tendency, as we should, to find other creative means potentially to attack a problem. So in this situation, if the um, assertion is that there was over-serving, and there was, it's possible that the lawyer is attempting to find an alternative route uh, to seek liability. But I do think, frankly, that's going to be an uphill battle because the code section is fairly clear that civil liability is prohibited. So I do think that uh, it's going to be difficult for them to demonstrate that. But I understand uh, the attempt to do so because if there was over-serving, obviously we have uh, four fatalities on our hands. As we've reported, and you just mentioned, four people died last December 14th, three of them passengers. What investigators say was a speeding car and one, the driver, Jerry Siepel. The estate of Jerry Siepel is being sued along with the House of Oliver for what happened. Sierra Panu, who lost her husband, Karan Panu, says because the House of Oliver offers memberships to participate in Whiskey Wednesdays, owners knew the risk of, quote, severe intoxication was high. Does the membership really make a difference in the claim of negligence here? I think it could. Ultimately, if we are looking at whether or not there was sort of a recklessness here, a negligence here, some sort of heightened risk that the House of Oliver was providing, membership could indicate, for example, that they are encouraging people to take full advantage of a membership. So there's generally a reason that we do a membership. If you pay on a per a day or a per drink or any type of a per basis, it's usually going to be more expensive. Whenever we have a membership, we're all inclined to use that to the fullest, whether that be going more days, having more drinks, that type of thing. So I think that's probably what they're getting at uh, with referencing the membership. There is an allegation here of extreme emotional distress since Sierra Panu and her two children have lost the ability to be with their husband and father forever, but also malice, fraud, and oppression. What's the, what's the fraud here, the oppression? So these are all different grounds uh, which you can reference in a lawsuit, uh, different ways to attribute liability. I'm not quite sure what exactly, because it's not articulated what the basis is for the malice and the fraud, but one could kind of assume that by drinking that much, and, and again, we actually don't know at this point, I believe the actual toxicology, but the assertion is that by becoming that intoxicated, choosing to drive, also choosing to speed, that can kind of imply maliciousness. Or potentially if you were leaving and maybe a, a patron or an employee said, hey, are you OK to drive? You said, yes, I'm fine and left and drove. Potentially that would be uh, the source of the fraud allegation. And because of the whole issue between the criminal and the civil, in your opinion, about whether or not this might go forward, is this really about the court of public opinion then than the actual court? I tend to think that is a great possibility. Um, again, we don't want to minimize the fact that uh, four families here lost 
their fathers. They lost their brothers. They lost their husbands. Uh, this is a situation where accountability is wanted, not only by the families, but most likely by the public in general. And so sometimes with a lawsuit like this, even if we don't think legally it has a, a great chance of prevailing, it is going to call to action the House, House of Oliver to publicly respond, uh, to be held potentially accountable uh, from the public's eye. And I do think sometimes that can be just as effective, just calling attention to something. And if over-serving did in fact happen, even if ultimately there's no civil liability, uh, it's obviously being publicized, it's being discussed, it's being addressed in some way. And that can be at least of some level of comfort for these families. Lots of eyes on this case, and we know it's something that the whole community is following, so we'll check back in with you about that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Matthew Oliver sent Fox 40 this statement last week about the filing of this suit, saying in part, quote, the CHP has not given a toxicology report. They have not said alcohol is at play. We don't know where the men were before or after the crash. There's too many factors to speak to right now, unquote.